In this video, how to fix an error when installing Windows XP on modern computers. This error happens because Windows XP doesn't detect that the computer's BIOS is fully compatible with ACPI, which is Advanced Configuration and Power Interface. Another error you might see when installing Windows XP is a blue screen. In this video, I will show you two ways to get around this problem. The first way is to manually bypass the ACPI requirement during the Windows installation. Restart your computer to start the setup process again. When the setup begins, press the F7 key, not F6, when you are asked to install storage drivers. The system won't tell you that you pressed F7, but it will quietly disable ACPI and let you continue the installation. As you can see, the error is now gone. However, after installation, you won't see any ACPI devices in Device Manager. If you then try to turn off your computer, you'll get this screen, and the computer will only turn off if you press the power button manually. So, for the second method, we need to add a patch for ACPI to the installation files. Then, we can install Windows XP with ACPI enabled. You will need the original Windows XP ISO file. You'll need the Inlight tool to combine drivers and rebuild the ISO image, or to burn a bootable CD. You'll also need the cab pack tool to patch ACPI files and modify cabinet files. And finally, you'll need the ACPI patches themselves. In this video, I will install the 32-bit version of Windows. There are many patches available, but I suggest you try this one first. Now, extract the Windows ISO file to a folder on your computer. Go to the i386 folder inside the extracted folder. Sort the files by size and copy the sp3.cab file for patching. Next, open the cab pack tool. Select the ACPI patch file as your source file. Choose a location for the output file. In the cabinet name template, type this name and press OK. As you can see, the file has now been created. Then, extract the sp3.cab cabinet file to another folder. Copy the ACPI patch file into this extracted folder and replace the existing file. Finally, open the cab pack tool again and compress the sp3 folder into a cabinet file. Now, you have two files ready. Let's copy and replace them in the i386 folder within your Windows XP source files.
Next, install the Enlight program. Select your Windows source folder. You can ignore this step. Choose to create a bootable ISO image. If you are installing Windows XP on new hardware with SATA mode enabled, you usually need to add drivers. However, that is not covered in this video. Using Inlight, you can burn a bootable CD directly, or you can create an ISO file and then burn it using other tools, or create bootable USB installation media. For example, I will use a program called AnyBurn to burn the newly created ISO file to a CD. When burning a bootable CD, it is recommended to burn at a slower speed. This will take longer, but it will help ensure the disk can be used for installation. Once you are finished, you can use the bootable CD to install Windows XP. As you can see, the error is gone, and we can now install Windows with ACPI enabled. In Device Manager, you will see a list of ACPI devices. and you can now turn off your computer normally. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.